When you are watching this video because of the clickbait title, congrats, you are human. There's a lot going on with TB Tech's Xenozoic's compressor. Some things good and some things really questionable. If you need to split the revenue of your releases with multiple collaborators, DistroKit has splits. This enables you to, very simply, split the revenue you make. Add as many collaborators for a release you want and decide how much of the cake they get in percentages. On top of that you can set recoupments as well, so if you agree on a fixed fee instead of royalties, this is the way to do that. Get 7% off of your first year with DistroKit by using the link in the description. One of the big pros of this compressor and all of its included emulations is that you can keep the same settings for the most part while you flip through all emulations. Basically giving you the easiest way to find the best fitting compressor sound. The differences between these 24 compressors is huge at times. Much bigger than it should be based on having the same settings. We'll dive into why that is and it's not always what you might think. First, the 24 compressor models add harmonics to the audio, varying from a bit to a lot. These will have an imprint on sound. The models vary from having more even harmonics to having more uneven. Even is smoother, uneven is more aggressive. Xenozoics lets you change the balance from uneven to even. This is also a pretty aliased mess and the oversampling of the Xenozoix compressor uses a low pass filter and oversampling to counter that aliasing. These anti-aliasing measures are adequate, not great. When you use the 2 to 16 times oversampling, you see aliasing getting reduced. But if you choose to run your project at a higher sample rate, you see that aliasing simply reduces quite a bit more. 384 kHz equals 8 times oversampling at 48 kHz, and it does a better job than the 16 times oversampling of the plugin itself. But who wants to run at 384 kHz, right? Pick your poison. When you go through the compressors of the plugin, you see that some functions aren't available, which makes sense if you emulate all those types of vintage compressors. The next thing happens when I go through the models. The threshold is set to minus 12, the ratio is 4 to 1, the attack is 15 milliseconds and the release 300 milliseconds. The differences are much bigger than it should be when you use the same settings for each of these compressors. You clearly hear that some slam harder and that there is a level difference. So what is happening? Here's Plugin Doctor. The threshold now is set to minus 12.5 for easier readout and keep an eye on this crossover point here and the knee in Xenozoics. And it gets even worse. Now, not all have this deviation and do show correctly between what the plugin shows and what is actually happening. 
But the differences between for instance the mastering compressor smooth and loud are too big and it absolutely affects how hard compression hits. You may be thinking wow he's a little whiny and that's fair. My issue with this is when you have a fixed setting in this case threshold and you use the same setting between all compression models you should absolutely expect that what the plugin is telling you is what is happening inside the plugin. Not to have a different setting hidden under the hood. For me this is deceiving. I would not have had any issue with it if the plugin would show the correct threshold values. Now if I match two compression curves with threshold values and ratio I get this. First here's the minus 12.5 and ratio of 4 to 1. The matching with this other compressor is a threshold of minus 13.62 and a ratio of almost 7 to 1. You still do hear a difference and that is because of my following issue with Xenozoics. The attacker release settings are all over the place as well. With the same audio clip I have to set the attack to 18 milliseconds to match the attack of the first compressor. It's almost identical now. The main difference is mostly in the saturation. The originally set 50 milliseconds is actually a few milliseconds less in this specific model. This may sound trivial, but this can be the difference between pumping and having a more open sound. And this happens between all models. To be clear, I don't mind having differences between different emulators compressors at all. What I do mind is having false deceiving info in your plugin. This gives the impression that TB Tech is hiding the true settings and wants to convince us users that every compressor is really very different. I'm really curious to read what you think of this, leave a comment. The stupid thing about all of this is that Xenozoics really is a capable compressor. All of these smokescreen under the hood differences could have easily been displayed. Now this is the second plugin by TB Tech on Plugin Alliance. Kirchhoff was the first one and I have thoughts about that one as well.